Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we are going to be looking at the Microtech Whale Shark. Uh, this knife is a little old, I'm not gonna say very. Um, definitely discontinued. They do not make it anymore and it will be very hard to find on the secondary market. Um, you can see 2012, Blade steel is S35VN. Um, this is this knife has seen some use, as you might have just noticed. We got some debris or rust spots on the edge of the blade there, and some scraping away of the coated finish on the tip, and some lines on this side. But it hasn't been used a whole lot. You can see I have the partial serrations here, more like half. It's about half the blade that is serrated. Um, it's a it's an interesting design. Just looking at the overall shape, you can see the very obvious curvature there. Um, overall, it is 8.6 inches, uh, blade length of 3.6, with the cutting edge of 3.5. As you can see, this little uh, Part of the blade that's not sharpened there. I'm not entirely sure what that's there for because you, you'd think this might be a finger choil up here, but it really, if it is, it's not a particularly well-designed one, and I mean by that it's not very comfortable. This does come to a bit of a, a bit of an edge, given how close it is to the cutting edge of the blade. So, you could definitely use it as a finger choil. It's just not the most comfortable finger choil out there. Um, you can see Microtex, both their proprietary hardware and their signature uh, thumb studs for these bigger flippers. Um, I would never really use the thumb studs on this knife, just given the shape, it's kind of an awkward opening. But the flipper, man, this has a smooth action. Um, the only other Microtex folder I have is the DLC and mine is either messed up or is just, they're extremely tight knives both in the uh, the detent and some point, somewhat of the opening. Um, but yeah, Whoa, don't wanna hit the tripod there. Uh, this is damn near fall shut action. Um, I would love to see Microtech make more folders with this action. I, uh, I've been looking to add a SOCOM Elite to my collection, whether it's a manual or an automatic, I haven't decided yet, but Having played with them in person, I am 90% sure they do not have this action. Um, we do have a G10 handle there. It's a nice design, almost a wood grain. Um, this blade is, we already said S30 VN, S35, excuse me. Um, got the titanium frame lock or hidden frame lock with the lock bar insert there, and there's even a insert on that side as well. Um, given the, the curvature of this knife, it is a little awkward to handle. Um, I'm not sure this, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is not a, a tactical defense knife by design. Um, got the uh, very beautifully designed pocket clip, it's pretty, Pretty basic, but it just it flows well with the curvature of the knife. The uh, titanium backspacer here with the lanyard hole at the base. Um, this is the black black coating. I'm not sure if this is just a painted finish or if it's a DLC. Um, handle thickness is just over half an inch. Uh, length five, about five inches. Um, it's a tip up carry and um, it's a, it's a good knife. I don't want to knock this knife in any way. Um, I'm sure if you wanted to, this could be a great EDC knife. It's extremely solid in both the lockup. There's no blade play whatsoever. Um, like I said, the, the action is beautiful. Um, yeah, this is, it's a very, very high quality build knife. Um, it doesn't get a lot of action in my collection, um, but 
just for uh, trade value, I'd probably just want to preserve whatever's left, given the uh, kind of the the uh, wear on the edge there and on the blade itself. Uh, the handle, the handle is in pristine condition, but then again, G G10 is well by design and by its uh, its purpose is very very hard to to mess up in any way. Um, so. Yeah, the, as you can see, it did come with a little baggie, little pouch. Um, it says uh, this could go on a belt. This could probably Molly compatible. Uh, Microtech's little logo down there. Um, it's a it's a good good Kevlar Kevlar sheet. I'm not really sure why you want to carry this in a sheet. I mean, if it it's but it has this pocket clip. And I mean, it's it's a folder, so why would you need to carry it in a sheet? But who knows? Some people might. Um, yeah, these serrations are still still very sharp. Um, this knife definitely is not. It has my dad uses this, uh, or used it a lot for yard work. Um, we can do a let's do a size comparison here. Um, pull out the let's move this guy down. Trusty Osborne. Um, Spartaco Delica 4. Can do the uh, Spartaco Atlantic Salt. Just a big knife. So these uh, these two are probably more uh, more similar in size. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, it's gonna it's gonna be really hard to find. I have been told that this is a uh, very difficult to find on the second-hand market um, and I believe it uh, as for the the Microtech as a brand it's always interesting to me to look at the uh, Marfion customs of any particular uh, model of the knife so whether it's the the Ultratech or the sigil or the stitch it's always interesting to see what the uh, the custom version is and the customer for this the only one I saw was basically just full titanium in this very default color, if you will. And I was pretty disappointed. Um, just looked really plain. Uh, usually, Tony Marfione has some crazy cool designs for his uh, custom custom knives. And they're always a beauty to look at. A little, little too expensive to touch, if you will. But uh, I maybe there were more. But I'm not really sure what the uh, the run on this knife was, whether it was just produced uh, for a short time or what. But, yeah, it has certainly made it hard to find. But if you can pick one of these up, I would probably recommend it um, if you're looking for a Microtech or something along these lines. Um, I'm not really sure what the original price was. I can look here for it. looks around about 350 which is pretty good. Um... A lot of the Microtech folders nowadays, minus the SOCOM Elite, but say the the Sigil, Sigil will run you, I think base base price of probably four or fifty, something like that. So this is a, this was a good good value for this knife. So I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah, this has been the Microtech Whale Shark.